as I suspected, she is dirty. Fairly freaking dirty. Let's see if we can get her all cleaned up. All right, so I primarily use Big Blue. Oh my God, I'm holding this the wrong way. The uh, the new Calgon Blue one and the big old gallon jug. But people at Johnstone said the representative wanted me to try this so I can t uh, tell them to stop ordering me the Refrigeration Technologies Viper um, Venom Packs for the, my. I mean, I use it primarily just for um, what I have to do, clean evaporator coils and any micro channel coils I have to clean, I'll use that, uh, the Viper Venom Packs. But for any other condenser pretty much, especially with the piece of crap taking care of ones that I have to deal with, I'll just use the, the new Calgon Blue because that stuff just eats off dirt and grime. But the representative wants me to try this and this was for free. So as you can see, I've already tried to use a little bit of it about a little bit over half has already been used um but now i'm gonna i'm gonna do it on camera and show you guys what i've come to find out about this so let's go ahead and get my boss's condenser cleaned that doesn't look like it's been cleaned at all since like the last time i did it maybe two or three years ago when i first started um so yeah let's see how this goes <laughs> So to my understanding, this is a concentrate, kind of like the other Venom Pack stuff. So instead of like, you know, you would pour this in your foam gun, if this was like, let's say the big blue bottle, um, that new Calgon says, the gallon jug, you would just pour that in there and then be good. Like whatever you want to fill it up with, then you set your dilution ratio with your foam gun <coughs> and then you'll be fine. You just hook up your hose and go as such. Well, I guess with this being a concentrate, like the Venom Pack, you know, I got to dilute it in here with water, and then I use the water with it. So it's supposed to save you up on your amount of cleaner that you're using. Which I think I can say I I've, I've definitely agree with. I don't really have to buy that many Venom Packs because I'm mixing the majority of it with water. So even though that coil doesn't look that bad, I'm just going to go ahead and dump this because it's the last time I'm going to use this stuff. So we're just gonna you know, dump all of that in there. Now the Viper Venom Pack is a good, has, is really good about having like the indicators of like how many ounces you want poured in. You know, they'll have the little level indicator on the side of the bag. Um, it tells you how much it comes with and then it just goes down, I think by either four ounces every hash mark on there. But this bottle doesn't do any of that. So that's, you know, one point refrigeration technologies in my book but you know even on my foam gun and this is a new calgon foam gun it doesn't have any indicator of ounces on the bottle itself so i'm just gonna now slowly fill that up with water i probably should have filled this up with water to begin with because now it's just gonna start bubbling up in there but i don't have that much of a coil to clean anyway so right about there Camera. There we go. And with this, you do have to saturate. It's it's better with the concentrates that I found, um, especially with the. I think it's in the directions on the refrigeration technology one on the package itself. You have to pre-saturate the coil before you start adding your cleaner. So that's what I'm going to do now.
effectively see through to the actual tubing of the coil. I don't know if it can pick up well on camera, but I can pretty much look through it and see to the uh, at least to the other coil. You know, I can see light through the other side, so I'm happy with that. From a actual like visibility, from visibility, just looking at it from far away. Obviously, the debris that was on the coil is off now, but I mean, I don't think anything really eats at the at the I guess discoloration and the grime and everything that gets caked up on it. I don't think anything eats it better than that blue stuff. So let me go ahead and put this all together and I'll give my little final what ifs or what I think about the that concentrate bottle at least. So I'll be right back. Got her back cut on. Obviously gonna take a minute for it to really dry the coil out, but I mean, I can look through in here and you can kind of see the light going out towards the other side. I hate having to put this, that was the only panel that came off by itself. The other ones all the way around here, I had to like pick up and move it, drop it over here. I thought I was gonna have to take one off each side, but cool. And if anybody cared to wonder, it's just a little 2009, two and a half ton. I mean, it wasn't even really that dirty. On the inside, wasn't that much debris. The outside was primarily just grass clippings. I mean, again, I, I cleaned this. I don't. I can't remember if I cleaned this like one or two years ago with or without coil cleaner, but it still wasn't that bad. So I'm gonna end this off with just saying, where's where's the bottle at? Where's the bottle at? If if you guys have a choice of what you're allowed to get at the supply houses, you know, certain texts or whatever. I'm not going to recommend this on, on the, only on the, on, for two reasons. There's no indicator to tell me how many ounces I'm using as opposed to the, the refrigeration technologies one. Um, as well, I don't, I have not had the best of luck with the, the new Calgon, um, like the gallon jugs, you know, those I've had those spill over a little bit or knock over in the truck and then. The coil, the cleaner is just like oozing out of the side of the cap and it just eradicates everything that's near it. I mean, the metal of the, you know, the shelf that it's sitting on, things of that nature. Um, the refrigeration technologies packet, the venom pack with the little like squishy package that it comes in. It's very, it, even when it falls over in the truck, it's not spilling at all. Um, I've heard a couple people say that they've had the caps break personally haven't had it happen to me knock on wood that it's going to happen yet um and then on the other side of that i don't know i'm, I'm going to guess this is cheaper but not by much um you know what this says this is one u.s court let me, let me go see how much is in the new cal is in the refrigeration technology packet because if they if it's about the same size um you know fluid ounces or whatever I, i'm personally just going to recommend getting the the refrigeration technologies one this package comes 36 ounces is that a quart it just says 160 milliliters but it says the pure concentrate makes nine gallons whereas like if you're using it you know four ounces at a time or whatever you could end up making nine gallons with that. Whereas I think the refrigeration tech, not the, oh my God, I'm getting their names mixed up. It's killing me. The new Calgon one says it only creates up to eight gallons. So if it's for a couple dollars more, you're making a whole gallon more. To me, it just makes sense to just get the refrigeration technologies. If you're comparing these, if you're comparing the, this one, the Tri-Power Ultra Concentrate. Now, if you're comparing the refrigeration technologies and i don't know if they have it but like if they make the new calgon the, the blue the new bright um if they make that in a concentrate and that's cheaper then i'm probably going to say go with the new calgon um because that one you can visibly see a lot of difference i mean i've had coils i've had some evaporator coils where i'll use the the um the refrigeration technologies veteran pack on it 
and it makes a difference but I'm like man I'm pretty sure if I just get some blue in here to make it a heck of a lot cleaner I go put some blue in the foam gun spray that thing down and it just looks like it's brand new again um so if they I'll probably be on the lookout in the stores for like the the new bright the the blue bottle um if they have a concentrate of that I'll probably look into that but for evaporator coil cleaners um you know little stuff I can put in the in my spray bottle spray down the interior and wipe down you know panels and whatnot inside these these closets for these rental properties I'll probably still keep using the Venom packs but that's 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 just my two cents on tri power ultra concentrate versus the the refrigeration Venom packs so now that I've used up all of this container I get to go back to Johnstone where the rep was and tell my favorite salesperson behind the counter hey don't stop getting me refrigeration technologies. I love those Venom packs. But let me know if you get some new Calgon New Bright in the concentrate, because that that might be the way to go. For replacing that, I mean, again, for EVAP coil cleaners and micro channels, I'm sticking by the refrigeration technologies. So with that being said, I hope everybody had a great weekend. Um, let me take the time to say at the making of this video, I'm at like 990 four subscribers um so if i make it to a thousand by the end of this day i appreciate each and every one of you guys my goal was to hit a thousand before fourth of july and it's looking like i'm gonna be a whole month in advance before that so thank you guys all the feedback i'm listening to it all the criticisms i'm listening to it i'm enjoying it um i hope you guys can keep following me along in this journey you know, who knows where I'm going to go with this. But with that being said, I hope everybody has a great rest of their day. And I hope their week on Monday starts out really great. See you later.